my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW grocery haul. So this is going to be a little bit different. I actually am still on dog duty through the rest of this week. So I wasn't able to go and do my grocery shopping. I didn't realize that until I had already done a smaller Walmart grocery pickup to pick up all of my favorite things at Walmart. And my plan was to go to Fred Meyer and do grocery shopping Realizing I couldn't do grocery shopping, I ended up doing a second Walmart grocery pickup. So you're going to see my video broken down into two separate orders. The first one is the smaller Walmart grocery haul. The second one is the larger Walmart grocery haul. And I told you, I bought a lot of stuff this week. So if you wanna see what I picked up for the week as well as my meal plan, stay tuned. So here is my Walmart grocery haul. I actually picked up quite a bit. I think it came to just over $60. So let me show you all of the items that I picked up at Walmart. I grabbed another container of the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. I am completely out after making my pulled pork. This barbecue sauce is delicious. It actually doesn't taste any different than full sugar, full point barbecue sauce. I also grabbed another four pack of the Hidden Valley Ranch Buttermilk Recipe Dressing Mix. This is to make the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. I picked up some fat-free cottage cheese, both for snacking as well as just to have on hand for recipes. I grabbed another pound of the 99% fat-free. Walmart has the cheapest price and the Foster Farms is about a dollar less per pound than Jenny O. So I picked up a pound of that. I also grabbed this, as you know, is my very favorite turkey bacon. So I picked up four packages of the Sam's Uncured Turkey Bacon. There is only one Walmart in my area that carries this, and it is far away from my house and closer to my work. So every once in a while, I will do a Walmart grocery pickup there so that I can pick up the Uncured Turkey Bacon because I love it. And that Walmart also has my favorite non-fat Greek yogurt, which is the tiramisu. So I picked up three of those and also a banana cream. I haven't had it in a million years. And I thought, how good would that be with a cinnamon smart cake and fat-free ready whip? It would be on the verge of being a banana's foster without the alcohol. So I wanted to give that a try. I also grabbed another fat-free cream cheese, another thing that my Fred Meyer or Kroger does not carry. So I always pick that up at Walmart. I also grabbed some sugar-free gel mixed fruit. I actually really like this. The fruit is in gel. I will put the points, of course, on the screen like everything else. But this is no sugar added, and it is just a little bit different. It's fruit and jello, so it's a nice twist on having a fruit cup. Also, I'm obsessed with the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple Sausage, so I decided to go ahead and grab another package of those. It is almost barbecue season, so I'll be doing a lot of these on the barbecue with burgers and other types of hot dogs. Also, another thing I always grab at Walmart is fat-free cheese. Fred Meyer does not carry it. I usually do buy the Walmart brand, but they were out, so I picked up the Kraft. To be honest, I like the Kraft better, but it's $1.25 more per package. So I typically pick up the Walmart, but I went ahead and grabbed the Kraft because that is what they had on hand and I cannot live without my fat-free cheese. I grabbed some string cheese. I usually buy the light, but they didn't have any. I don't eat these very often. These are more for my hubby. So I picked up these. And then I really like great value frozen vegetables. I don't know why. I feel like their quality is really good. So I grabbed the California style broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, mixed vegetables, which is one of our favorites, carrots, green beans, corn, and peas. I also grabbed crinkle cut carrots. I don't know, just something different. Haven't had these in ages. And this is a new find. This is Pomodoro Riced Cauliflower. So it's rice cauliflower with tomatoes, garlic, white wine, and chili powder. So all over YouTube and Instagram, people are making Spanish rice with the riced cauliflower. So I feel like this takes the place of Spanish rice and having to make it on your own. So I've never had it, but I'm gonna give it a try. So I was excited to find that. So that, my friends, is everything that I picked up at Walmart. And I will be back shortly for you guys but on Saturday with the rest of this week's grocery haul. So here's the second part of my Walmart grocery pickup. You saw the first part, and this is the second section for my groceries for the rest of the week. So I am looking forward to the day when that guy right there is good to go on his own because it was kind of a pain going to Walmart twice for grocery pickup, but grocery pickup, of course, saved the day. So let me show you what is in the second part of my grocery haul and then I will show you my meal plan for the week. 
So first I picked up these Circus Frosted Animal Cookies. These are actually for my husband. I am gonna put the points though for these. They're not too bad, but he said that you'll hardly get any crackers in the pack. But I went ahead and picked these up to throw in his lunch. I also needed some more soy sauce. I was completely out of soy sauce. I also found this at Walmart. This is the G. Hughes Sugar-Free Teriyaki Marinade. Really excited to find this. Zero smart points. And especially with the warmer weather coming, I thought this would be delicious on barbecued chicken breasts. I also grabbed another container of the Taco Bell Mild Sauce. Walmart does not have the fat-free Ready Whip, so I grabbed this sugar-free whipped heavy cream. It is a little bit more points, or a little bit more calories, I'm sorry. The fat-free is five calories per two tablespoons, I believe, and this is 20, and this does have some saturated fat, but I thought that it's okay, I'll just go ahead and count the points for it, but I cannot live without my fat-free or sugar-free whipped cream. This is another thing I've never bought before, but I saw this actually on both Instagram and YouTube. These are only four smart points and people say that they are amazing. They have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Reese's, and Lucky Charms. They sounded really good and I thought that's not bad for a sweet treat or you could pair this with some fruit for a yummy breakfast. So I grabbed these, I'll let you guys know how they are. I also picked up a can of tomato sauce for a recipe, as well as a can of petite diced tomatoes, green chilies, which is also for a dinner recipe this week, and some corn. I also grabbed some salsa. I ordered the mild salsa. They didn't have it, so they substituted for the medium. So I'm hoping that it's not too terribly spicy, but I got the organic great value brand. I also needed some Old Bay seasoning, and this is for a recipe this week. The stuff is pricey, a little bit more expensive than I thought that it would be, but I went ahead and grabbed that. Some white rice. This is for some Korean bowls that I'm going to be making. Now that I've been loving my Instant Pot, rice is so easy to make in there, and it's so much cheaper to buy the rice in the package like this rather than in those boil-in-a-bag boxes. So grab some white rice. I got a huge bag of chicken breast, five pounds. I'm gonna compare these to the organic ones that I've been buying to see if I like these as much. But this is a huge bag, so this will definitely last a while. It was an excellent price, less than $10, I think, for five pounds. I also picked up some wild-caught Pacific cod. Uh, no skin, I'm going to be making homemade fish sticks in my air fryer, super excited about that. I love fish sticks, but they're always so high in points. So I'm going to be making those. You will see those in an upcoming video. My husband wants egg salad this week, so I grabbed another 12 or a dozen of regular cage-free eggs. The rest is produce. I picked up some grapes. A little bit disappointed that they gave me grapes with seeds. I ordered seedless grapes, but it's fine. These suckers are huge. So it'll work. I told my husband it'll just make us eat our grapes a little bit slower. So some grapes for the week. I also picked up some Little Potato Company. These are the Dynamic Duo, so they're the red and the yellow potatoes. Some blueberries, a lemon, some carrots, and some chives. I also picked up a case of water and some Diet Coke. Next, I'm going to show you my meal plan for the week. So, of course, this is my absolutely gorgeous Carrie L meal planner. You know I'm obsessed with my meal planner. So we'll go ahead and get it all opened up. The tab we're gonna focus on is the yellow tab here for the meal plan. We're gonna go ahead and flip to the current month. One more page and here is my weekly menu. As you can see, I always use the rip off grocery list that is attached. I think that that is a huge, amazing feature of the Carriel meal planner. So I go ahead and use that each week. So let's talk about what's on the agenda for this week's meals. My weeks go Saturday to Friday. So you can see that I start with Saturday, April 13th through Friday, April 19th. Saturday is the day that I use my weekly. So we typically go out to dinner. It is a non-tracking day for me. A lot of you have asked. I do not track on that day. I kind of just eat what I want, but I do try to be mindful of the amount of food that I'm eating. But I do like to eat the things I normally can't have on WW on a given day when I am tracking and staying within my allowed points. Sunday, I'm going to be making shepherd's pie. This little RO right here, that just means rollover. So this is a recipe that I had on my meal plan prior that I did not 
make. So I'm gonna be showing this to you guys. It will be in my What I Eat Wednesday video. We'll pair that with some veggies. I'm excited about this one. This is a one pot Mexi beef and corn bake. This recipe sounds amazing. You will be seeing this in an upcoming collab video that'll be posted on April 25th. So keep your eye out for that. We'll pair that with some veggies. On Tuesday, I'm going to be making healthy baked fish sticks. That's what you saw that cod for in my air fryer with some fries and some veggies. So I'm going to do a copycat fast food fish basket, a skipper's, a long john silver, something you normally can't have. I'm going to switch it up, make it WW friendly, and we're going to indulge in fish sticks and fries. Wednesday is always a leftovers day. This is my long day at work. Friday, I'm excited about this too. In my air fryer, I'm going to be making bacon wrapped chicken bites. Super excited about this. We're gonna have that with some rice and some vegetables. And then Friday, of course, is a leftover day as well. I typically don't get home very early on Fridays. Because I weigh in on Friday, I don't actually start my workday till eight. So I end up staying a little bit later. And for those of you that follow my channel, you know that I try not to eat past 6 p.m. So if I'm at work till five, I'm not home till 5.30. So I just go ahead and nuke some vegetables, vegetables, leftovers, so that I can be done eating by six. On the back side of my weekly menu is where I plan out my meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making, actually I'm gonna be doing breakfast um, pitas, not breakfast burritos, so scratch that, I just hadn't done that yet. But I'm going to be making an amazing breakfast pita and I'm gonna pair that with some fruit. For lunch, I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna be making Korean ground turkey bowls. Yes, please. And I'm gonna have some veggies with that. And then for dessert, I'm going to be making chocolate chip cookies but they are going to be one smart point chocolate chip cookie. So wait until you guys get a load of that in my meal prep video. And then I'm also going to be filming my Easter baking series, which I know a lot of you are super excited about. I'm gonna be making WW friendly sugar cookies, not just sugar cookies, but frosted sugar cookies with candy on top. So wait until you guys see that video. So that's everything that is on my meal plan for the week. Again, if you have not seen the carry -on meal planner before or you're interested in purchasing a meal planner, I highly recommend the carry -on. It is absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed seeing this week's grocery haul. Sorry for it being broken up into two separate clips. That's life, guys. That's dog mom life. So it all worked itself out. We got all our groceries. I'm ready for the weekend. I have a super busy weekend with filming videos. I have a lot to share with you guys. My meal plan for the week sounds amazing. I can't wait to share all of those meals with you, show you in meal prep, the breakfast, the lunch, the cookies. It's all gonna be shown to you in my upcoming videos. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. If you're new to the meal planning world, I highly suggest that you pick up the Carrie L Meal Planner. I have a discount down in the description box below. So check that out. It is an amazing meal planner. Also make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. I'd love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up Comment down below, let me know what's on your meal plan for the week and what did I show you in this week's grocery haul that's maybe new or something you never thought you could eat or want to eat on WW. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.